everyone, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm showing you how to make homemade fortune cookies. So finding out that I was pregnant was very exciting for many reasons, but something that has been really fun for my husband and myself is thinking of creative and fun ways to tell our family members. And so I recently just made my mom an I'm pregnant cake, um, announcing my pregnancy to her, which was really fun. We actually drove up there last weekend to give that to her and my, her and my grandmother. And next on the list is telling my brother Josh, his wife Julia, and all my little Colorado nieces and nephews. Um, I'm so excited to do this, but since they are in Colorado, I don't get to tell them in person. So I was trying to think of something really fun to do that I could send them. And I've always wanted to make homemade fortune cookies because I think you could do so many fun things with them, including telling your family that you're pregnant. Um, so that is just what I am going to be doing. So the recipe that I'm gonna be using comes from Just a Taste, but I actually made a few tweaks to it. So I'm linking the original recipe below, but also the tweaks that I am making, and you would not believe how simple fortune cookies are to make. And to be fair, I did try actually three different recipes, and this is the one that worked for me. So my oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and it just takes a few simple ingredients. So I have two large egg whites, half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, half teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm gonna be using between one and three tablespoons of water, and also a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. This is optional, fortune cookies don't have cinnamon in them. However, it actually just tastes really good. And of course, I'm gonna have my little fortunes ready to go, cut out. I just printed them on a Word doc, really small, and cut them out. So to get started, I am simply going to combine all my ingredients except for my water. So one of the tweaks I made to the recipe is I'm actually just using a quarter cup of sugar because what I learned is if you, the more sugar that you use, the more like soft the cookies become and I want my cookies crisp. And I'm just gonna start off with one tablespoon of water. And you do want your batter to be very thin, so most likely I'm gonna add more and I'm just gonna whisk this together. So I do want my batter a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna add another tablespoon of water. This is nice and thin, so this is perfect. So I'm using a cookie sheet that is lined with a cookie mat. You could use parchment paper. These work really well. Um, highly recommend if you have one, but parchment paper sprayed with a little oil will also work. And I'm actually gonna give this a little spray as well. The batter can be a little sticky. So although fortune cookies are extremely easy to make, they can be a little bit tedious. You really only can get two or three done before they harden after you like fold them and shape them. Another helpful tip is to use about a four inch circle cookie cutter as the outline for our fortune cookie. If you don't have one, that's okay. But this is gonna help us make a nice, neat cookie base. And we're gonna take about one tablespoon, like these are gonna be very thin, and spread it into our cookie base, our cookie outline, cookie cutter outline. <laughs> My first te test batch that I made of these, I made them way too thick and they actually tasted like pancakes. <laughs> and it was a different recipe, it wasn't this recipe. It was a fail recipe. So this baby is joining a lot of cousins. So I have six nieces and nephews in Colorado and then I have my little twin niece and nephew in Virginia. And I have my fortunes ready. So they say fun things like you're getting a new cousin. Um, and then for my brother, I get to say you get to be an uncle. My older brother and I are very close. Um, we've always gotten along really well, so I'm very excited, and I just love my sister-in-law, Julia. 
uh, and she is gonna be thrilled. So from here, these are gonna go into the preheated oven for between five and seven minutes, and you want your edges to start to be golden. Um, I have found mine need about that seven minutes, but you're gonna wanna watch your little fortune cookies. Check them at five to see if they're done. So cookies came out of the oven after about seven minutes, and we're gonna work really fast here. You're gonna put your fortune in, we're gonna fold. that bending it over a cup is going to give you that fortune cookie shape and then letting it dry in. These are very hot, I'm warning you. My fingers are like burning. So you just fold it in half like a little taco and over the edge. gonna keep working until all my cookies are done. So all of my fortune cookies are done and you do wanna let them dry to harden for like at least half an hour or so so they crisp up. But these were obviously so simple to make and I'm so excited for my family to get this. I have like a vision. I'm gonna make sure that they record them opening it. I'm gonna give them like explicit instructions. Um, and I actually realized my littlest nephews, Declan and Davin, can't read, so they're probably gonna be a little confused when they open their cookies. But I hope that you guys enjoyed learning how to make these, um, and I hope that you guys make some fun fortune cookies of your own. If you did like this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.